So in the last class we learned about the C scale and all the white note names. So if you're not perfect with the white note names, we can't move on to the black notes. So you should be absolutely perfect with all the names of the white notes. So it's C, D, E, F, G, A, B and it repeats again C, D, E, F, G, A, B. It keeps on repeating. So once you're perfect, absolutely perfect with it, then we can move on to the black notes. So the D scale consists of seven notes like any other scale. It's D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp and D. So what are F sharp and C sharp? They're the black notes. Let's move on to that. So as we know the white notes are C, D, E, F, G, A, B and C. Then what are the black notes? So if this is a C, this will be a C sharp. So C, C sharp and then C, D. So when this is a D, this will be a D sharp. So C, C sharp, D, D sharp. Then this is an E, there's no black note for E. So it's E and then F. For F, this will be F sharp. For G, this will be G sharp. A, A sharp. And then for B, there's no black note. So it's B and then C. And the pattern keeps repeating again and again. It's the standard for all keyboards. It just keeps repeating again and again. Again. So C, C sharp, D, D sharp. You can also call the C sharp a D and a flat. So this can also be called D flat. So anything, so this black note is be before D. So this can be called D flat. And this D sharp can also be called E flat because it's behind me. F, F sharp. This F sharp can also be called a G flat because it's behind a G. This G sharp can also be called an A flat because it's behind an A. This A sharp can also be called a B flat because it's behind a B. So C, C sharp or D flat, B, D sharp or E flat, E, F, F sharp or G flat, G, G sharp or A flat, A, a sharp or B flat and then C so it's the same pattern everywhere around the keyboard so in many musical instruments each thing you learn helps you learn many other things so it connects with everything else you've learned any song anything you want to play it connects with all the basics that you learn so you can feel free to watch my video again and again so that you'll know what you missed the last time when you were watching it as we know the black notes really well now, we can go and play the D scale. So for the D scale, the D scale has notes of D, E, F sharp, G, A, B and C sharp. So to play the D scale, it's the same fingering as the C scale which is 1, 2, 3 and you take your thumb and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's D, E, F sharp. G, A, B, C sharp and then we press D again. So 1, 2, 3 and you take your thumb beneath your middle finger and play G. That's it. So D with finger number 1, E with finger number 2, F sharp with finger number 3 and then Take your thumb, play G with finger number 1, A with finger number 2, B with finger number 3, C sharp with finger number 4 and then back to D with your finger number 5. So to play the D scale backwards, you put your finger number 5 on D, finger number 4 on C sharp, finger number 3 on B, finger number 2 on A, finger number 1 on G and you take your middle finger and play F sharp and you take finger number 2 to play E and finger number 1 to play D so it'll sound like so 
front and backwards together will sound like this. That's it for this class. See you next class. Keep those fingers moving and express your notes perfectly. Bye.